Juan Laporta has finally unveiled his sportive project. A sportive project filled with traditions and innovations. Very much needed in this club. Welcome back to Blaugrana Planet and welcome back to a new video and today we are gonna go over Juan Laporta's sportive project because he has finally unveiled the gem, the gem that we have all been waiting for and that his team and him, Juan Laporta himself, have been working on for many months. In brief, Laporta highlighted a model that combines experience, innovation in technology and a new methodology. All of this combined create the sportive excellence that is much needed in Can Barça. So the presentation of the project was started by Rafael Juste. Rafael Juste is the sports directive, so the head of sports of La Porta Scandedesi Estimem al Barça. So Juste began making reference to the winning mentality. That's what Barcelona needs, a winning mentality and the unfounded spirit of Johan Cruyff. To all of this, be implemented in La Masia, because La Masia is the cornerstone of Estimem al Barça, the cornerstone of La Porta's project, to bring back glory to La Masia. Basically, La Porta wants to bring back to La Masia the identity and the sports model. All of this with a non-negotiable style of play. The style of play we all love. And Guardiola crafted together with the knowledge of Johan Cruyff, the so-called tiki-taka. Although Laporta doesn't mention this word, but mentions the legacy of La Masia. So once the philosophy side of the presentation was over, very well introduced by uh, Mr. Juste, Xavier Budo, who is the sporting expert, has described the different models that they want to apply to La Masia. These models include values and sports culture, knowledge, technology, scouting and technicals. So these five areas will be implemented to La Masia to make sure that it regains its status and its value in the football world. Although these values and points are not going to be only implemented in the first team of the male section of football, they're also going to be implemented to all the sections, getting together to make the greatest club in the world, more than a club, Mescun Club. So this includes giving presence to the women's football team, for example, the hockey team, basketball team, handball team, all the sections are equally important and La Porta has made an emphasis on growing all together. La Porta also made a special mention to the women's football because it's growing rapidly and he wants to create a La Masia for women as well. As right now, La Masia is only focused on male players because that's what's actually creating business and creating a lot of value. But as the women's football team is increasing in value, we should be focusing on women as well. Therefore, implement all La Masia structure to the women's side of the sections. Basically, La Porta is sure that if this is implemented properly, this protocol and this model of working will last for the decades to come and will be improved as time goes by. But this is the basis that Barcelona should build upon. Basically, bringing back the power to La Masia. It's something that we have all been waiting for. In terms of technology and big data, something that it's really important nowadays. In the year 2021, Barcelona is still signing with the eyes closed. We need to have a proper technological improvement in the sports director area and I guess everywhere in between. 
because Barcelona needs the best players, but Barcelona cannot be buying the best players over and over once the players are already on top. We need to create those big players. And the big data is essential to be detecting and scouting all these young gems and bring them to La Masia. Introduce them to the new system, to the new protocol, to the new way of thinking, to the new mentality. This mentality and this way of thinking that will be making them great. And also, of course, introducing them to the Barcelona style of play. The most important thing ever. Non-negotiable, as he says. And at last is the technicals and philosophy. These points are probably one of the most important. Because Barcelona can create great players. But Barcelona has to create, most importantly, great people. And Juan Laporta made a public statement. He wants to have Carles Puyol to be leading this section. Because he knows that the values that he shows to the people are the right values for Barcelona. And to be fair, we all miss Carles Puyol. What a legend of a player. What a legend of a person. I want this guy back in the club ASAP. And I know that Juan Laporta has a really good relationship with all the players because that is something that he also mentioned that he needs to bring back the emotion. He needs to bring back the motivation, the link between the directors and the players. Something that with Bartomeu was completely gone, erased. It wasn't existent. Laporta can bring this back. Laporta can bring this connection back. And all together, not only with the male football team, but with all the sections, visiting all the sections, talking one-to-one -one from the president to the players, making them understand that they have the full support from the director and make this connection constant. This is gonna bring the whole team together, the whole club together, and together, we can make things happen. We can make great things happen. And I'm sure that with this system, Barcelona can be great again. La Porta can make Barca great again. So guys, this was the short brief uh, resume of La Porta's project. Obviously, the presentation lasted a couple hours. A lot of things were said, a lot of things were mentioned. But basically, this is the cornerstone of his project. La Masia, technology and mentality. And to be fair, in this presentation, Laporta talked about a lot of things, but I am sure that he is hiding many more things that he's gonna be unveiling as we go. And probably Laporta is gonna win these elections, although we never know what could happen. But according to the data that I have, is that Laporta is coming on top. So guys, let me know in the comments down below what you think about Laporta's project. Who is your favorite candidate to win the elections? And of course, smash the like button if you enjoyed this video and you want many more videos. Make sure to do that. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe if you want to keep on receiving notifications. Make sure to hit the bell notification and now and as i always say visca el barça visca catalunya and see you in the next video my people